so that you know we could adapt to the changing environment. And you know, I know there was always a lot of talk about on base percentage and, and things like that. But the reality was, again, we were we were value investors. You know, at the at the end of the day, we were always trying to find value, whatever the market sort of allow at that particular time. So in 2004, I had gone to the Dodgers, and uh, leading up to the draft, Billy and I spoke a little bit only in generalities and we certainly didn't share you know our plans with one another the book had come out just the year before in 2003 um, and in 2004 in the first round both billy and i took high school players um, in los angeles and in oakland and he was against what and people thought well, wait what's going on here you guys just and this is what they'd say you just wrote this book uh, you know about you know how you should take college players and all these other things and we said well uh, both of us independently had come to the same conclusion, which was yeah, after the book had been written, the college players were hugely overvalued for a short period of time because everyone said, oh, we ought to take college players, and that's what they started doing. Had the influence you uh, had, Michael Lewis. How about that? Well, you know, it was funny. The book, they were, they, some economists did a study to see what had happened to the, the price of on base percentage. Uh, and it went like that after the book. Okay, then then I, I don't know what's happened since. But and, you know, and we did things like we signed Chris Singleton, mm -hmm. uh, who was a great defensive outfielder, but not necessarily a big on base guy or anything like that. And people were were flummoxed with, with what we were doing. But again, for us, it was always about uh, just finding value wherever it was.